Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen. I hope that you are all safe and well during these trying times. I am the Curious Owlbear and I'm continuing the series where I give you ideas for random encounters that don't suck. Today we have a request for some tavern encounters. I have some fun ideas ranging from pirate crews to interplanar travelers, so let's see what our adventurers will run into. The adventurers retire to the local tavern after a long, challenging journey. Most of the inn's patrons are local farmers, landowners, or traders, but there are also several other travelers from far-off regions. The innkeeper, Fat Polly, is happy to converse with the adventurers as he tries to be friendly with any individuals who look like they can handle themselves, which helps in the event that he needs to keep the peace. As dinner is served, a teenage girl wanders downstairs holding a fiddle. As Fat Polly delivers the food, he remarks about how proud he is of his daughter, as she plays the few songs that she's learned so far. The patrons are kind enough to the girl, offering a few tips. This encounter will offer the group a chance to make some unique friends, as well as get a taste of the local landscape. The group enjoys a nice meal and a few drinks at the local tavern. Suddenly, the tavern doors are thrown wide open, and several smelly, disheveled seafarers enter the tavern. They're loud and lively, singing songs and making merry throughout the night. The pirates are mostly harmless on land, but they will make some less savory remarks, and the real problem won't arrive until later in the evening. After the adventurers retire to their beds, the raucous in the barroom doesn't cease and some of the party members may have difficulty getting a full night's rest. Unless they decide to do something about it, that is. Another evening, the adventurers enjoy a nice meal at the local tavern. They notice a large human man, wearing little in the way of clothing or armor, with a great axe strapped to his back. If any of the adventurers approach the man, he's gruff and unwelcoming, but not hostile. An insightful adventurer may insinuate that the barbarian is mostly interested in avoiding the bottom of his cup. With enough libations, the human will finally be willing to share some of his knowledge about the area, some stories about his old triumphs, or perhaps answer questions about his life of retirement. At another tavern in a small town, the adventuring party gets some well-deserved R&R. One of the adventurers hangs out for a while on the tavern's porch, a small area where locals smoke pipe tobacco or cigars. You can have the player make a surprise perception or investigation check to notice a small tobacco pipe that lies stuck between two floorboards. Upon retrieval, the player finds that the pipe is cool to the touch, though a small stream of smoke continues to rise off of it. This ever-smoking pipe is an invention of one of the greatest wizards of our time. It is magically imbued with the ability to draw from a reservoir of tobacco, and can be lit or snuffed with a single command word. This is a fun little encounter that can provide your players with a unique piece of aesthetic equipment, and if tobacco is not a theme that you support in your world, it can be easily shifted to another item. The adventuring party discovers another small tavern on their travels, and decide to rest for the evening. Inside is a small smattering of patrons but one will quickly catch the attention of the adventurers. An elf man sits at the table, eating his meal, while across from him sits a patiently waiting Modron. Modrons are the residents of Sigil, the place at the center of the plains known as the City of Doors. It holds a myriad of dangers, as well as portals, or doors, to every other plane. It's unlikely that one would run into a Modron on the Prime Material Plane, but it seems that this particular Modron has made a friend, or perhaps has been altered to serve a new master. Whatever the case, the man will have a good story to tell, for the right price. At yet another tavern, the adventuring party finds another interesting quirk. The inn is equipped with beer glasses which emanate a constant layer of frost on the outside of the glass. These mugs are imbued with the continual frost spell, which is a homebrew creation similar to the Continual Flame spell. It can create a layer of permanent frost on an item or in a location. As such, 
The beer at this tavern is the coolest and most crisp beer that the adventuring party has probably ever tried. Eventually, another tavern patron catches the eyes of the adventurers. They see a woman, probably a local, who has a pet monkey. This small capuchin monkey approaches other tables, begging for snacks and grabbing at shiny objects. Every few minutes, it returns to its owner, seemingly just to check in. This is another fun little encounter that can have your party entertained for an evening. Of course, the monkey could have more nefarious motives, if you're so inclined. The group arrives at a more lively tavern. A loud, roaring crowd can be heard from outside the tavern, and, upon entering, the group immediately recognizes the reason. There is a large arm wrestling tournament going on. The players will be welcome to join, but there is a dwarf from the area who has gone unbeaten for several years. It will be a difficult challenge even for the most athletic members of your party. I recommend using opposed athletics checks to resolve each arm wrestling bout, and you can even divide each match into a couple of checks to give an athlete a chance for a comeback. This was an exciting encounter for my players, and of course the most financially motivated individual among them started a betting pool for those who weren't competing. During another night at a raucous tavern, a brawl breaks out in the bar. There is actually a monster for this in the creature Codex, which has some interesting abilities. It's similar to other swarm creatures in that it can move into the space of another creature, as well as using some uniquely themed attacks. If you're looking for an interesting bar fight, then I highly recommend this creature. Finally, as the group rests at a local tavern, a more nefarious plot is unveiled. The group's rogue heads outside to use the facilities, and, unfortunately, they might have had a little too much to drink. As they walk, they hold on to the wall for support, and accidentally stumble upon a secret room. It turns out that a cult has been active in the area recently, and they use this secret room for some part of their evil plot. Now that it's been uncovered, the group will need to act quickly, in spite of their inebriation, to foil the cult's plans. And that brings us to the end of today's Tavern Encounters. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe and leave a like below as it really helps me out. We're inching ever closer to 1,000 subscribers and the anticipation is killing me. If you have ideas or requests for future videos, I'd love to read about them in the comments section below. I always want to bring you useful content. Until next time, be well, be excellent to one another, and stay curious, adventurers.